So I think what you're going to see over the coming four years is uh, progressive adoption of Bitcoin by a bunch of banks, a bunch of various regulated entities operating in every major jurisdiction. The rules uh, regarding transfer are going to evolve. In some cases, they're clear. In some cases, they're hazy. In some cases, they're being contested. In some cases, they're very unclear and uncertain. Uh, I don't think that in four years, every question will be answered. But I do think four years from now, you'll have a lot more clarity than you have right now. And that clarity, to a certain degree, will come because of the entrance of the large entities in space. In a pivotal shift that promises to reshape the cryptocurrency investment landscape, Grayscale Investments has recorded its first day of positive net inflows for the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, since its conversion to a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund, ETF, in January. This significant milestone, marked on May 3, witnessed $63 million flowing into the trust following four consecutive months of persistent outflows totaling $17.5 billion. This wave of fresh investment, which contrasts sharply with the prior trend of liquidation, indicates renewed confidence in GBTC and signals a potential shift in sentiment among institutional and retail investors. Meanwhile, other major Bitcoin and ETFs reported similar upticks on the same day, underscoring a broader trend. Franklin Templeton's ECBC fund achieved its highest ever inflow of $60.9 million, while Fidelity's Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund attracted $102.6 million. The Twizy's Bitcoin Fund and the Invesco Galaxy Bitcoin ETF both saw substantial inflows of $33.5 million and $33.2 million, respectively. Such figures reflect a growing institutional appetite for Bitcoin as an investment vehicle. Despite recent market turbulence caused by high-profile bankruptcies, regulatory scrutiny, and macroeconomic challenges, this resurgence in demand for GETC is particularly noteworthy because Grayscale's trust carries a relatively high fee of 1.5%, compared to competitors that charge less than 1%. Franklin Templeton, for instance, offers its ETF with a fee of just 0.19%. Despite this fee discrepancy, the renewed inflow into GBTC suggests that investors remain confident in the trust's management and the potential of Bitcoin as an asset. Moreover, the reduction in sell pressure, as highlighted by crypto analyst Ipsman, could lead to a stronger market for Bitcoin due to increased demand from institutional buyers. The crypto community is abuzz with predictions about what this renewed interest in Bitcoin ETFs means for the digital assets price trajectory. Prominent crypto trader Joel, with over 880,000 followers, recently suggested that Bitcoin is on the verge of reaching a new all-time high. He attributes this optimism to Grayscale's substantial inflows, predicting that the current housing market struggles will soon subside, leading to a six-figure Bitcoin valuation. According this sentiment, Jordan Lindsay emphasized the impact of inflows and outflows on Bitcoin's price movements, noting that the price surge over the last 24 hours, nearly 5% to around $2,840, is indicative of the market responding to these dynamics. Michael Saylor, a leading voice in the cryptocurrency world, provides further context to this evolving narrative. He anticipates that Bitcoin will witness progressive adoption by a range of financial institutions and regulated entities in the next four years. Though he acknowledges that regulatory frameworks remain hazy in some regions, he believes that clarity will gradually improve, enabling more organizations to embrace Bitcoin as a reliable store of value. Saylor cites January 2024 as a turning point, marking the beginning of widespread corporate adoption due to the SEC's approval of Bitcoin spot ETFs. This acceptance, coupled with the regulatory rejection of alternative crypto assets, solidifies Bitcoin's position as a preferred investment. Saylor employs a compelling metaphor to emphasize this concept, deciding whether to use steel or bronze for a skyscraper. Investors, he argues, want certainty in their choices, and the acceptance of Bitcoin by regulators provides them with a clear and reliable option. The denial of other crypto applications for spot ETFs further reinforces Bitcoin's position as a unique and unmatched structural pillar in the digital asset market. This regulatory endorsement could embolden institutions to accelerate their adoption of Bitcoin, providing the momentum required to propel it to unprecedented heights. The growing inflows to GBCC and other major Bitcoin ETFs reflect an intriguing blend of optimism and caution. As traditional finance increasingly acknowledges Bitcoin's legitimacy, the market must navigate a complex regulatory terrain, heightened competition, and evolving investor expectations. Despite these challenges, renewed faith in GBTC and similar funds suggests that the tides may be turning, 
offering a glimpse into a future where Bitcoin is firmly established as a staple in institutional portfolios. This is only the beginning of a larger narrative about cryptocurrency's role in global finance, one that will continue to unfold in the coming months and years as investors and regulators grapple with this fast-evolving asset class. Yeah, I, I think that uh, January of 2024 was the beginning of the period of corporate adoption of Bitcoin. And, you know, that first big catalyst was the SEC's approval of spot ETFs for Bitcoin. The second big catalyst is going to be the SEC's denial of every other crypto application for a spot ETF. And, and the entire world was thinking, will the regulators ban Bitcoin? And we answered the question, uh, no, it won't be banned. And then the next objection is, but will it be copied? And when we actually see the regulators deny the applications of the copies of other crypto assets, then we will have checked the box. It won't be banned. It won't be copied. In a climate marked by renewed confidence in Bitcoin, Grayscale Investments recently celebrated a notable achievement by securing its first day of net positive inflows into the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBCC, since transitioning to a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund ETF in January. On May 3, the trust saw $63 million in new investments after enduring nearly $17.5 billion in outflows over the past four months. This influx aligns with an industry-wide surge as major Bitcoin ETFs like Fidelity's Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund and Franklin Templeton's ECBC Fund also reported substantial inflows. This marks a significant shift in investor sentiment and suggests a broader resurgence in Bitcoin's appeal as a financial asset. Michael Saylor, a recognized thought leader in the cryptocurrency space, sees this as a prelude to even greater institutional adoption over the next four years. He predicts that a range of banks and regulated entities will progressively adopt Bitcoin, recognizing its potential as a store of value and an investment asset. He acknowledges that the regulatory landscape remains hazy and uncertain in places, but believes that the participation of major financial institutions, such as Fidelity and BlackRock, will bring much-needed clarity. Saylor points out that the success of these ETFs will accelerate the evolution of the regulatory environment. He anticipates that traditional stock exchanges like Nasdaq may begin trading Bitcoin options, and he sees a movement within the New York Stock Exchange to operate 24 7 driven by enthusiasm for crypto trading. This transformation of traditional finance will likely involve intense lobbying for clearer legal and regulatory frameworks. Meanwhile, both new digital asset companies and traditional financial institutions are expected to invest heavily in upgrading their systems to accommodate Bitcoin and other digital assets. While this evolution requires significant investments in technology, legal expertise, and strategic planning, Saylor is optimistic that the collaborative efforts between innovative crypto firms and established financial institutions will lead to a more precise regulatory environment and improved market infrastructure. This, he believes, will ultimately result in the emergence of a thriving Bitcoin economy setting the stage for greater institutional acceptance and widespread adoption.